Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more stasis. I feel like we're getting towards the end. I don't know if it's true. Oh, hey, what the hell? Closed power cell housing. What is this? How did I not see this before? Okay, so we gotta do something with this. Anyway, I feel like we're getting close to the end. I don't know if it's true. But uh, we're gonna give it a shot and pray. I don't think this will fit. Alright, what, what am I supposed to do with this? So clearly, I'm supposed to do something with this. I can't see it working like that. Uh, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. It doesn't work like that. There's a lock? Like, it's like an the, the omega symbol and a lock? Wait. Open the... If I pop this and, like, smash that's it. That's crazy. No. Hello? Okay, so that's not how that works. Though now I know I can, like, touch it. Alright, let's go out here. Still trying to figure out some puzzles. Let's go back in here. Power pad, sink. Oh, there's another power cell in here. And it's slightly off center. Can I do something with this? Hmm. Can I do something Maybe. with this? No. no, that won't work. High temperature. High temperature slug gun. No. This isn't gonna work. And then this. It work like All that. right. What about if I do something like combine? Hmm. Maybe. No. I have no idea, but now I know I can touch things. That's useful, I guess. All right, let's check out another another room, maybe. Okay. There's another power cell in here. I feel like these are all giving me a hint. But I can't actually, oh, see he mo I hate that. I hate that. If, if you have me zoomed in on something like this, don't allow me to fucking move when I'm messing with shit. Um, pulsating mass of flesh and bone. All right, maybe I can do something with this. Maybe I can f freeze it. No. No, that won't work. No. Uh. All right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. This isn't gonna work. All right. None of this is actually helping me. So we've we've kind of clicked on all the obvious shit, the stuff that I know about. And again, as much as I enjoy, you know, clicking around and trying to figure shit th shit out on camera. This isn't gonna work. It's not the most thrilling thing in the world, so I'm gonna try and figure this out, and uh, I'll cut to when I figure it out, whenever that ends up being. So I'll be right back. All right, I don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's that? Wait, wait. I don't understand what that is. Provides an energy boost for heavy-duty equipment. Okay. Oh shit! Okay. That didn't do anything. All right, but we can interact with this door. Uh, I'll probably cut to this point then. H hi, I, I don't know if I said all that on camera or not. I mean, I said it on camera, but I don't know if I'm gonna leave it in. Um, let's just try and mess with shit then. See if this airlock is what I need to mess with. And it looks like it is. Okay, so can I stand on this? Take this and then shoot? So it's Frozen over. Oh! Okay. Oh, alright. That works. Thanks, game. How the hell was I supposed to know that, man? How the hell was I supposed to know that? Okay, where are we? Oh, no. It has fallen from the operating table and to crawl around and aimlessly in peregrination, no doubt delirious. Fluid drainage room is designed with fluid drains. Uh, he's just kind of hiding. This research will be lost. Does that mean that this was for nothing? For nothing. Oh man, are you kidding me? Healthy organism, strap down hybrid. They're almost human. They look like aliens, they look like greys. Don't get too close. 
Hello. Hello. Tiny hybrid. What is this? Bone mending glue? I'm going to take that. Uh, st All right. Well, you can't get me, it looks like. Conjoin hybrid fused the spine. Oh, man. The fuck? This is fucked up, man. Let's see what this terminal is. Birth reports. Lena. Subjects host Tira, Tara McCormick, First Lieutenant Marina. Rambunctious. Subject appears to have inherited her mother's powerful physical build and latent aggression. Lena has the markings of an excellent alpha female candidate. Recommendation, move Lena to the group cell. And isolation appears to be pro promote irritability. Daryl, quiet but intelligent, attempted to pick the lock on a cell yesterday, but failed to escape. Excellent puzzle-solving skills, and while not especially aggressive, has a strong build. A thinker, clearly. Frederick. Subject shows little for of his mother's solid frame, but is a superb hunter. Stalks and learns tactics by observing the others. Appears to be developing a strong tactical mind. Then you got Nay. One to watch. Extraordinarily fast and dangerous. Appears to be to prefer isolation as an attempted pairing result. Of different. I don't know what's going on. What is happening? I'm trying to read, man. Don't do that to me. Look, I feel bad enough as it is. Let's go through this PDA. Uh, this is enough here. Charlotte M. Williams. Oh, Francis, I still lie awake at night thinking of you. You haunt my dreams, my nightmares, and my fantasies. We found love, dear. Even when we worked in Kane's Sydney lab, creating viral strains that could turn a human inside out, we loved and made love. Ours was a match made in heaven. We worked on only the most exciting viruses and pathogens. Our work together was a Mo Mozart Requiem, a piece of perfection. My work now is pale imitation of what it once was. Oh, Francis, how long ago was it now? It must be ten years, but it feels like only yesterday. You were too sick to transfer to the Groom Lake when I did. You died just as I took up my post, but don't fret, my angel. I've begun concocting a way of bringing you back to life. I always called you my little Frankenstein. Do you remember? Shredding the boundary between life and death is always your ultimate goal. Well, now, with Project Seed entering its second phase, my plans can finally be put into practice. March 20th, the laboratories are off limits between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., so that's when I work. Naturally, I prepare all of the calculations and machine settings in my quarters. I keep the subject under a false name in one of the pods. So far, not even Dr. Milan knows what I'm doing. Uh, each major laboratory operation I perform takes no more than an hour, and I always erase the machine records at the end of each one. I'm using your DNA, my darling. With the enhanced regenerative abilities of the genetic material we've already synthesized for seed, you will be reborn, but you'll be impervious to physical degeneration, immune to sickness and pain. I'll have done what you would have wanted me to, uh, would have wanted and made you perfect, and when you step healthy, unblemished, and reconstructed from your glass womb, you'll never leave me again. This lady's crazy! May 23rd. Things have felt strange lately. My work continues, but I swear, darling Francis, I can feel you watching me. I'm trying to work longer hours to complete the new and reborn you, but it's not easy. Marvin has already made a ma had a look at some of my work, I'm sure, as if he'd had have any concept of what I'm trying to achieve anyway. July 30th. I still wonder, my darling, why you cursed, it, cursed me as you died. You know it was an accident. I know you remember that. It wasn't murder. I've never committed a murder, not even when we tested the pathogen on those troublesome neighbors. It was an experiment. How were we t uh, to know that they'd choke to death on their own innards? I suppose death was a possibility, but that's science. I fear for your continued life. I'm afraid Milan knows. Who else knows? Have they contaminated you? I will run extra tests to make sure your code is not flawed or altered in any way. I'm anxious. I've started scratching my arms badly. At this rate, I may end up looking like that leopard toad Bachman. December 29th. Oh, my dearest Francis, I have failed you. Milan knows. He confronted me about it directly. He wants me to make you just like them. I cannot have you crawling on all fours like some dog in the street. The very idea offends me. I will protect you with my life. You will be reborn. I swear this on my life. Good. Good. So she's cloning and, you know, insane stuff. Good. I'm just, I'm happy about it. You know, it's pleasant. All right. What's over here? Uh, loading screen. I'm sure it's going to be totally fine and nothing's going to be terrible at all ever it's the longest loading screen so far good thing there's dust particles to keep me occupied in my visual area oh damn strapped down creature oh no machine computer mainframe computer not machine computer terminals terminals coolant pipes Oh, man. Hang on, buddy. Don't go any 
further. I'm warning you now. Fuck you, Milan. How, how could you do this? I do with my children as I see fit. It's barbaric. Spare me the pity of the righteous. Your daughter owes her life to me. What do you know about Rebecca? ARG was good on this ship, Mr. Matichek. Cancer, HIV, Ebola. I eliminated them all. Her life is mine to do with as I choose. I... Oh, yes. I know about everything, Johnny Paul. I know about your daughter. And all about your wife. Great. Signal, John. You need to hurry. We're close. What do you even mean? Strap down creature. I can't do anything with it. Surgical laser. Open power cell housing. Can I do something with it? No, that's ridiculous. You know, you'd say it's ridiculous, but it's not that ridiculous. I think just break it. Can't see it working like that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Clearly, I can click on it. There's something else over here. Glass wall. All right, let's see what's over here. Does oh, Dr. Milan's man? He's been. He writes a lot. Here we go. January 1st, the new year begins. The wheels turn, and the Groom Lake continues to lead the vanguard of scientific discovery for all of humankind. Yet I feel dissatisfied. Even as the peons who work under me celebrate the new year, I wonder why. Why would you celebrate such an asinine concept as an outdated Gregorian calendar on a ship that's currently swimming through the depths of space? The reason is clear. Comfort. They fear the unknown, the alien, the impossible. I do not. I embrace the unforgiving cosmos with open arms. The problem with research we do is the humans doing it, constrained as they are by conscience, remorse, and sometimes even fear. We try to grasp the infinite and give it a framework that uh, ill fits its cosmic splendor. This is my 10th year as a special director, special projects director for Con uh, Kane Corporations. I still want to read that as Kanye Corporations. It'd be even better if it was. Despite my discoveries and quest for knowledge, I'm held back at every turn by paperwork, moralizing scientists and that group of degenerate toadies that I sit on the board with. If I were rid of them, then my word would be God. My word. Not the word of corporation. Still, they have their, their uses. The research is funded by Kane, and the Groom Lake is kept running by the money and personnel they provide. But the time will come when all this changes, mark my words. March 19th, I'm inundated with emails from all departments about inconsistencies with storage and contaminated samples. This grand masquerade is sometimes more tedious than it's actually worth. Worst of all was Dr. Wei and that technician, Miss Callister, is it? I normally make short work of such troublemakers, but it hardly seems worthwhile. Troublemakers must be allowed to make trouble because if they disappear, that legitimizes their claims and somebody will always take up the fallen crusader's torch. Dr. Bachman's tendencies are becoming harder to restrain. I'm well aware of his shortcomings. The old man is as brilliant as he is deranged yet manages to go about his work with a sociopathic glee. He's useful to have around. He has requested more bodies for seed, specifically more women who are recently pregnant. That is problematic and as, as we have very such few women on board, imports are not easy to come by. We may have to play this one under the radar. May 20th. That fool Dr. Gray complained yet again about his beloved insects becoming more aggressive as a result of the power outages. So what? Let them spill out into the decks as far as I'm concerned. The importance of seed outranks the hydroponics project work by a thousand to one. I do like playing chess with Dr. Gray, of course. I win every time, a little fact he's unlikely to tell anyone. Although he does seem quite happy to con contact anyone who's interested with the opinion that he'd be, be the next best candidate for my job. Sebastian, you would not, could not, handle what I do. If you believe otherwise, then you're as great a fool as I imagine you to be. When the day that I foresee comes, your rotting corpse will be under my feet, and I will laugh. July 4th, Dr. Williams is still under the delusion that I don't know about her personal research. Officially, it's legal for staff to con conduct their own research, but this is interesting. Recreating her dead lover in the form of a hybrid. How fascinating. If it works, I'll make use of it. If it doesn't, then it'll burn with the rest of this rejects. The woman is obsessed, and I know that DeSantos is playing no small part in feeding her delusions. I know her secret research won't cause me any problems, or I would not have allowed her on Project Seed. 
October 23rd, so it seems contaminated waste from the corpse disposal overspill is contaminating the ship. It's causing fungal growths, or so my various drones tell me. The fungus is a riveting pro proposition, though. While I'm angry at Dr. Bachman for terminating more subjects than strictly necessary, these unintended side effects are fascinating. I inti intimidated as- wait, intim intimated? intimated as much to Dr. Gray, and of course stroked his ego with hints of promotion and glory. He'll keep the fungus alive. The engineers want to destroy it, but I'm sure we can delay that. This experiment is becoming more engaging by the day, and I haven't even had to lift a finger. So while they clog up my inbox with demands and Rome burns, I plan to play the violin. We're more than secure here anyway, and this has a certain inevitability about it. I must record the daily developments as the experiment grows. November 30th. It is as I foresaw, panic, destruction, and mayhem, and yet Seed continues apace. Once the fervor and the flame dies down, we'll sweep the decks of de uh, detri detritus and repurpose all of it for my beautiful hybrid creations. No more growing plants for the good of mankind. God is no longer in the machine, my friends. I am God. December 25th. My beautiful children have excelled, them, uh, excelled themselves. They kill, they learn, they adapt. A primal species without any of the trappings of morality. It's their time now. They almost came to be once, one many years ago, but were snuffed out by humanity, afraid of its natural successors. This system systemic extermination was given a name, the Eugenics Wars. The public knew it was as corporate warfare. In truth, it was coordinated genocide. Humanity wasn't ready for Professor Gurun's astounding discovery and sought to destroy it. His work was not perfect, of course. That's where I came in. I spent most of my life as part of Kane, trying to access Professor Gurun's work. Old Man Kane pushed me to the top because we shared an ideal, the utilization of science for the perfection of humanity. Where we differed were the methods by which this was to be achieved. Not that he had much more to say after I held that pillow to his face as he lay in the hospital bed, all for a higher purpose. Creation of our species from raw subjects will become impossible now that the crew are dead, dying or unclean, but that's hardly an issue. Any subjects who are flawed or imperfect have been turned into fertilizer that will nurture the perfection of the surviving race. Now the challenge is moving the Groom Lake out of range of any other ships. No one can be allowed to escape the ship alive. Any good, strong survivors will become members of the new race. I am their contr contr ah, I am their creator. I control. I uh, transcend. February 2nd. De Santos, I am so very disappointed in you. A distress signal. I thought we were one of the m one of mind here in Seed. I'll castrate and destroy you for this betrayal. Your flawed body is hardly worthy of becoming one of my children. But for now, I must turn off this accursed signal. You cannot hide from me, Marvin. Your drug peddling little fuck. Good times. Everybody's just the best, nicest dude in the goddamn world. Okay, Robert Lincoln. July 23rd, I've been reassigned to investigate the disappearance and murder of two scientists in the employ of Dr. Milan. A strange matter to be sure. I've been observing the movements of some of these eggheads and I can't say I'm <coughs> too impressed. Doesn't anybody around, the, around here record their comings and goings or make any notes? There are no traditional organizations in this department whatsoever. Project Seed answers to nobody, this I know, but I thought that these scientific types always made notes. Not that I care about, admin, but I very much care about finding out who's selling weapons grade secrets. Industrial secrets are a matter of life and death, especially, uh, especially death in this case. My investigation will be thorough and no stone will be left unturned. The staff here are strange and in fact, I'd say lots of them are even crazy, but I couldn't care less about that. I just want names and answers. August 8th, I got this job because I get things done, not because of my warm and caring personality. At the moment, people are taking umbrage to my investigation, but security is a constant and essential part of the shipboard life, especially when we're talking about industrial espionage. I'm not sure where the two missing scientists are, but it seems based on the modified records I found that they were killed and ejected into space. Any other man would assume that these two were the criminals, but I don't buy that. As far as suspects go, I've ruled out Charlotte Williams and Marvin DeSantos. Charlotte because she doesn't know where she is half of the time, and DeSantos because he's just a smirking shit for brains. I'm confident that he's involved in drug dealing and I will give him this, he is cautious and acts like he's a real ladies man, but I know the truth, I've seen him rejected repeatedly at the bar. September 3rd, since July I've had to operate under the pretense that I'm an assistant. It's lucky that in my career I had some emergency room experience. The only other person who knows about my true purpose here is Dr. Milan. He's been encouraging. He constantly supplies me with information that I require for my investigation and at times is a little over helpful. He's still, he seems honest enough. For the record, I'm well aware of the kind of Dr. M uh, of the man, the kind of man Dr. Milan is. 
I've seen his experiments with my own eyes. I've seen what happens when the bodies are disposed of and the burning fires of the furnaces. But he does what's required to justify the means. There are few men in this world who will do what has to be done. For that, I admire him. He told me to watch over Dr. Williams' experiments. It seems they're unofficial, and although I prepared to report to Kane to have their, her removed from her position, Dr. Milan immediately overrode my request. I respect him, but to be honest, I don't like having my authority overruled. November 12th, Bachman, of all people, was sniffing around today. It seems the old psychopath suddenly became curious. I asked Dr. Milan for further instructions, as he told me to incapacitate the old man. This I did. A shame I had to break the old guy's kneecaps. Honestly, I was hoping to slit his throat, but Dr. Milan insisted that he remain alive. Alive and in pain, but unable to move. I'm revising my earlier opinion of that DeSantos character. I still think he's a pathetic little shit, but I now believe he was partly responsible for some of the stolen information. He strikes me as an amateur put up to this by an outside agent. I'll deal with DeSantos soon, but first I've got to monitor his movements. Make one move, pal, and I'll have you. December 17th, Dr. Milan has earmarked me for one of his experiments. I know this because when I attempted to leave the ship to report to the Kane Corp, I discovered that my access was restricted and blocked. I came back to my quarters and found Dr. Milan waiting there. He was waiting with two of those hellish critters that he's created. I'm not squeamish, but those things make me nauseous. I'm currently awaiting what he calls processing. I suppose at this stage I should make peace with God. I've killed many men in my life, and I'll never say that I feel remorse for it and I won't give Dr. Milan the satisfaction of hearing me pray for mercy. My last notes on this affair are that Dr. Milan himself is at the heart of the events on board the ship. I was blind to it. I refuse to believe that he was capable of creating such devastation. I always thought that scientists liked control, but Milan breaks all the rules as far as science is concerned. The leaked information, the fungal growth, the missing scientists, I'm beginning to suspect he even knew that DeSantos was actually selling intelligence and may have fed him the information to sell. To what end, I don't know. I suspect it was because DeSantos kept Bachman drugged to the eyeballs with whatever powerful stimulants he happened to have so Bachman could continue his work. I can hear the machines being turned on. I welcome my fate. At least I know that I did my job for Kane Corporation. Everybody is fucking psycho. Good. Strap down creature. Open power cell housing. What the hell? Okay, so now, like, what do I do? I read everything there. It seems to be life support machine. Can I do anything over here? Nope. Why are you coming up there? Come over here. Nope. All right. How about we do bone mending glue on you? I can try to make it fit, but it may break. I can't touch any of this. I don't know what the hell. This isn't gonna work. I'm supposed to do. We'll go to the glass wall, maybe. Oh, what is he doing? He's doing something. No? Okay, he just looked at it. No. Crazy. No. It's glass, man. Smash it. It doesn't work like that. I, I, you know, I have a weird feeling it does. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Okay. Guess we're going to be dicking around again and pointing and clicking. And, uh, cutting to when I figure it out. What am I supposed to do, man? Alright. As always, I'll cut. I was gonna go figure shit out. I'll be back. Alright. I couldn't figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. Apparently, this bone mending glue is actually supposed to be used on these little power pads. I don't know how I was supposed to figure that out. Again, it's part of, like, one of the things about this game that bothers me is, like, these really contrived bullshit puzzles. I don't know how I was supposed to know that I was supposed to put this bone mending glue all over the power cell. That makes no sense to me. But that's what I'm supposed to do. And I'm supposed to go and do it on every one of them. So I have to go over here and do it as well. And then do it on the one out there. Which, again, where, what, what are the hints that that is what I'm supposed to do? Wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to do it to all of them. Maybe if it... No, Wait, what? No, that won't work. So if I go out this way... Alright, I thought I understood, but I don't. Thought I saw him do it in a particular way, but I guess not? Wait, wait, wait. Before we do any of that, let's just take this, this, Maybe and this. It... No. No, that won't work. No. See? Stay open. Hmm. 
So wait a minute, I don't understand. What was I supposed to do? All right, hang on a second. Okay, supposedly what I'm supposed to do, again, I don't know how I'm supposed to figure this out, do that. And then I can maybe do that? And then I come over here. Oh, that's some fucking shit. What, how, how are you supposed to, again? You're supposed to like, You need to fucking give a dude a hint on how I'm supposed to figure out a puzzle. But, no, I guess not, man. I guess you're just gonna make me figure it out. That's fine, whatever. I'm not that cranky about it. I just had to look it up because I wandered around fucking goddamn forever trying to figure it out. Some bullshit, but that's fine. How, how does it also stick down on top of the janked up metal? So unnecessary. But whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, it's fine with me. Equipment failure. They have no mouse. Are they all just gonna die? I can't move. Okay. Go to sleep. I you. So that must be his daughter? So that must have been his daughter and I didn't realize it. Cause he just freaked out. All right, that must have been his daughter. Just the way he's reacting. So he just killed his daughter, all good. I'm assuming it's his daughter. Maybe I'm just completely, completely fucking wrong. But again, just the way he's reacting. Okay. Pop that open. Okay. So now I have these. Now we can leave. So we have these three things. And then what we do with these is come over here. This is going to go a little long, this episode, for those who are curious. Go over this way. Over this way. Sorry, weird things. And I come down here. And I take these, and then I start jamming them into this. One. Two. Three. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything else. Oh, learn surgical laser. Got it. So I just kill it? Can I just take it now? Oh, I'm just gonna destroy everything. Fuck everybody, I guess. I like how it's just a clean cut. Like, it's just, like, everything above it just gets wrecked. All right, Let's fuck this guy. Come on, run, dude. Sorry, creature, but you're probably better off dead, to be honest. Let's go. Warning. The environmental control and life support system has been compromised. Please report to the visitor center for further instructions. All right. I don't know how much is left. I feel like we're coming towards the end. I'm going to wrap this episode up here, and then I'm going to just go right to recording more, and uh, I'll make the finale the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.